down boys <laughs> that happened fast this is what I was telling you about antelope season opens tomorrow beyond excited it's uh my first rifle antelope tag um, and we're in a pretty decent unit it's an interesting year to draw an antelope tag in Wyoming there was a huge die-off from this winter so we're we kind of looked at a lot of units with the amount of points that we had we were really wanting to be sure that we were going to hunt a unit that didn't have a major die-off so we saw a unit that they didn't cut tags on assumed that that means there wasn't a major die-off and we're getting into bucks from the very moment we stepped into this unit. We've got a really cool, laid out, wide, flat buck that my dad's pretty interested in. He's got like 20 does with him, a big old harem. So we're gonna keep tabs on him, keep running some country. We got a few hours left before dark and tomorrow's opening day. So we're gonna see what we can turn up, hopefully get a few shooters picked out. And tomorrow, get one down at least. We got a few days to get two on the ground. Both pops and I have tags, so it's gonna be a fun one. morning of the antelope hunt and a buck that pops named Mr. Lucky yesterday because of the size of the herd he's running he uh we're getting everything together this morning drinking our morning coffee and he comes busting up over the top of this hill right here by camp chasing a buck away from all of his does and now he's working his way right back to us you might want to get set up on the gun here. He's coming right at us right now. This could be happening quick. Ready for the morning. It's opening morning. So lucky, lucky boy just ran by camp. I ran some poor little guy off a mile from his herd and stood down there and stared at each other and never even engaged in a fight and then came walking right past and we just, none of us can tell if Something's off about him, right? We just can't tell. So I'm going to go up and take another look at him and see. I was pretty excited about him yesterday, but now seeing him a little closer, I'm not too sure if I'm going to shoot him or not. So we'll head up and get some more footage of him, give him the eye test, and then we'll make a decision on opening morning. But wish us luck. Something's telling me he's off on his horns, but we'll see. I want to get him in close, and we also want to try this towel deal. So let's get up there and see what happens.
guess it's the sun on the right side you can like barely see. All I can see is curl and everything on the left. Hmm. in up here. They're about 470, 475 out right now. They got us already. They're looking at us, but uh, I think we're going to try to uh, do the white flag thing and see if he comes any closer just to get a better look on him close in. Kind of, we're out in the open right here. They've got an elevated pitch at us so they can see us. So let's try the white flag thing this first time and see if he comes any closer and get a better eyeball on him close in, hopefully. Like I say, I'd take this shot, but I'm just not convinced yet if that's the one I want to shoot. So let's see what happens for fun. Where's he? He's over the top of that boulder, Dan. When they move, he'll probably be the last one. No. That's him at the very back. He's going to cross the boulder. Okay. Is that him, Shane? Yeah. There we go. They've stopped over there to the left. He's looking. And then he's couple steps. You want me to get you another range? Yeah. Are you thinking about taking them? Not from here. I'm going to have to get up on that mound up there. He's right in the middle of the group. There, you can see his dark face. He's got him. He's moved. He's right in the very center of the whole herd. A lot of grass in my view. Get to that mound right there. 30 yards here. Yeah. Let's get up to that. Towel didn't work for old Lucky Boy. It's really tough when he's got that many damn does. There's 24 of them, and they had us pegged, but they did have the high ground on us, so it really wasn't a good angle to come in on them. But they had a beat on us as soon as we popped up on the ridge line. But we waved the flag, and some of the does got nervous, and they bolted all the way down to the bottom of the draw. But now they're working their way back up. Probably after all that running around, they're going to want some water soon. So. We're gonna see if we can get, let them get settled down a little bit and then make another play on them. So they're moving back up towards the top. So we'll let them calm down a little bit and then figure out a different angle to come in on them. The wind's still good for us, but it's just so many eyes. So we'll see, let's get them, let them settle down, maybe sit for a little bit, get some water, and then we'll make another approach on them. But I think I'm gonna take them. I mean, he's definitely what I wanted, that low and flat, unique. I just wish he was a little thicker, but and still, we haven't closed the gap under 500 yet, so keep you updated. Right now they're 7, 7.30. Uh, we're out of the way, the truck's hidden. We're gonna let them calm, maybe they'll stay there for a little bit. And if we cut the distance to this knob up here, it's, it takes them down to like 460. So I'm not gonna rush in, we're just gonna sit here for a minute. See if they calm down, maybe st they still haven't fed since this morning. So hopefully they're getting to a calmer pace. Cut the distance, get to this knob over here. If they're 460 and I like them, I'm gonna pull the trigger. So we're not rushing right now, we're just kind of relaxing. Casual morning. It gets deep and then it comes around. Because if we come right up over the top, they're gonna be freaking pissed. Not only on this one. This no, I know, but this is second one. If you come off the right side of it, you'll
wish us luck. Well, lucky boy is not so lucky. After me and Scott watched them go up and over this saddle where we thought, we also saw the two rangers take off, the dust going up that same way. And when I was standing there with Scott, I did hear a pop, I thought, and one shot. The old man dropped him right there. He just drove right past us here, and we had to look at him. He was, like we thought, he was very unique, flat, laid out. Thought he was a little taller. So, I don't know, I'm kind of torn. If, I'm kind of glad I, maybe I didn't shoot him. But we'll see. He was, he was what I wanted. But ta after talking to him, sounds like the herds aren't as big as they used to. So we got our work cut out for us, I think, a little bit trying to find an 80. He said they used to be here, but might not be anymore. So, well, lucky boy is dead. So, on to the next uh, couple bucks. So, we'll see. See what happens. Well, we got up on this knob, and we can see a lot of country right now. We got a group of about 15 with seven bucks in it one or two bucks that they're borderline shooters and then we got a group of about 20 25 with a d nice big buck in it and then a group of about seven with another big buck in it those ones are pretty close to private so we're gonna have to kind of gauge to see exactly where they're at these ones out in front of us are definitely on public so we might try to loop in above this group, get a look at this other group, these other two groups, just to see if there's any possibility that they're on public land. And then maybe kind of come back to these bucks because Pops is getting excited about something over here. So we might <laughs> might end up shooting something. But Already lost Lucky Boy. Yeah, Lucky wasn't so lucky this morning. Not for us, at least for someone else. But we're going to see, see what happens here. Um, might be shots fired, but... Cool, we're seeing a bunch of antelope, bunch of goats, um, bunch of bucks. Just trying to find that next level buck and something that's kind of unique and gets us excited. So stay tuned, see what happens. Got a game plan in place. We're gonna head straight out at this group of five bucks. Just look them all over, see if there's something in there for Pops to shoot. If we find a shooter in there, we're gonna dump him. Then we're gonna work up get up above them there's a nice plateau with another group that looks like a solid buck in there with some does might pound him too so we're going to try to do a double here uh, but first we're going to see if there's a shooter in here and kind of go from there but That'll we just got to work down the checkerboard yeah so we're trying to play the public private game right now seen a bunch on private big group of like 60 70 and then there's a group down here below us of like 10 solid bucks in all those groups so just got to find that shooter on public. He's in the middle of the group. Yeah. He's the tallest out of all of them. The back one's staring at him. Yeah. So he's the middle of the three. Okay. He's the one in the green bushes right there. Yeah. What's yardage? Heads up. Yeah. Nine point four three MLA. 
Tim broadside right now, right? Yep. Feeding? Yep. Scott, ready? Yep. Hey, ready? Yep. Oh, drilled him. Great freaking shot, dude. Great shot. <laughs> Dropped him? Dropped him. <laughs> Good shot, dude. Oh, Did he drop right drop over? Drop right there. <laughs> Antelope down, boys. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, this is long guards. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, they're two inches. So we got one buck down, and now we're gonna make the move on chains. I'm happy, to, happy as hell with this Wyoming buck. Great to be out here. That was fun, boys. That was a blast. Let's do it again. Looking for that. All right, we got Pops out of the way. Now it's my turn to go fill a tag. We got about an hour and a half left of light tonight. We're gonna run some new country north of where we've been hunting. Just check out some new stuff, see if we can't turn up something special on public. There's some really good bucks that are flirting private public boundary. Most of the day they've been on private today. So we'll be keeping tabs on them. Then we got another group of 20 that buck got shot out of, so maybe a new buck will roll into that. And then there's another group of 20 does just up above camp as well that had a buck in it last night. Never saw them this morning. So we got a lot of opportunity around us. Just a matter of finding that right buck and that's something that gets me uh, excited. So we're gonna run some country. We got a couple days to get it done. Glad we got him out of the way now. <laughs> Focus on this guy. <laughs> of so, course, the Mimi story. Yeah, it's all about me, you know. So <laughs> we'll uh, get after it, see when we get down.
sec. He's gonna tilt in a sec. Done. Nice. Don't film. I know. He took all of that. Yeah, he did. Dude, congrats. Let's go. <laughs> uh, Let's go. He's a good buck. Yeah. He is a good buck. Yeah. You don't shoot him, somebody else is going to shoot him. Well, that happened fast. First freaking go. Just hit the dirt. We, we were just cruising this main dirt road kind of just running new country. Turned them up, they were on private. They came down to get a drink of water on public. And when he crossed in front of us, I was like, oh man, like, I mean, I'm being picky on this hunt. And I was looking at him and these guys are saying he's a good buck and I'm like, he is a good buck. And let him slip the first time, missed the first window for a shot opportunity. We tried to stop him at like 250. And he went around the edge and we didn't get a shot, so we came up and over this knoll right here. And they were right down below us at 200 yards and he was getting a drink and quartering away, put it in that back rib, he hit vitals, dead center. He ate it like a champ, 300 PRC, and he took that one. So we're gonna go down there. It was magic hour too, the sun's just going down behind the hills. We got it done with last 15 minutes of light two for today pops got his this morning <laughs> got mine i don't know why we planned on three days up here <laughs> we're tagged out we're tagged out in wyoming so let's go freaking get let's him down go. congrats huh? Thank you. Oh, he's cool. Couldn't be happier with this goat. Crazy day, two for two. Pops and I both tagging out. Good mass, the way they swoop back. Good prongs, just awesome hunt in general. I mean, it happened quick, but it was fun. And we're going home with both our tags filled. Can't beat that.